Hi everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for being with us. Up next, we have a story of a voyage to the moon, but with an interesting twist. The film is set during the 1860s, long before automobiles, satellites, or Snapchat, let alone spaceships. From 1958, produced by RKO, released by Warner Brothers, it's From the Earth to the Moon. The film is based on an 1865 novel by one of the most prolific and popular science fiction writers of all time, Frenchman Jules Verne. Set in the U.S. right after the end of the Civil War, Joseph Cotton plays a munitions producer who has invented the most powerful explosive ever created. He teams up with a metals expert, played by George Sanders, to build a spaceship that will travel the roughly 237,000 miles to the moon. Stories by Jules Verne were hot commodities in the 1950s. Four years before From the Earth to the Moon was released, Walt Disney turned Verne's novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea into a major hit. As a result, Hollywood studios were scrambling to adapt other works by Verne for the big screen. A big-budget adaptation of his novel Around the World in 80 Days won the Oscar for Best Picture for 1956. And in 1959, the Verne story Journey to the Center of the Earth was a hit at the box office and earned three Academy Award nominations. From director Byron Haskin in 1958, also with Deborah Paget and Patrick Knowles, From the Earth to the Moon.